Texas legislature goes back legislature goes back tomorrow in special session. The governor outlined 20 key pieces of legislation. One is the so-called bathroom bill, but it has a new name. It's now called the privacy bill. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard joins us live from the grounds of the state capitol in Austin. And Ryan, we understand that you just talked with the lieutenant governor. And he tells me Texans want this to pass. He tells me it does not discriminate, but some disagree. Throughout my childhood, I had always been extremely masculine. It has been a long road for 14 year old Landon Ritchie. Three years ago, an email to mom explained Landon felt different than the other girls. Landon is trans, born female, transitioning into a male. I am human. Uh, I deserve the same love and respect and dignity that anybody else does. My trans identity doesn't exclude me from receiving respect or validation. But Landon and others in the trans community say the privacy bill in the upcoming special session called the bathroom bill by some discriminates and can lead to additional pain in a community with an already high suicide rate. They are putting the comfort of many people over the safety of some of our most vulnerable people, including kids. The Richies lobbied against the bill with the Senate and the House, each passing different versions. Nothing was signed into law. Now it is one of Governor Greg Abbott's top 20 priorities. The Harris County Republican Party says it protects women and children in bathrooms and does not discriminate. Texans actually support creating privacy, make, ensuring that their children are safe, and ensuring that they, they have the confidence to be able to go to these public spaces without worrying about these additional problems. And again, we just talked to the Lieutenant Governor. He expects that privacy bill will once again make it out of the Senate. This is not discriminatory against transgender adults or children. It's just common sense, common decency, and with the adult population, public safety. And at 10 o'clock, we will have more of our conversation with the Lieutenant Governor. We're live in Austin, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News.